Today's video is going to be a Dollar Tree stocking stuffer ideas for men and boys and actually a lot of this is actually for boys. There were just a lot more things for kids rather than for men that I found but I can do another video just strictly for men but it is kind of hard because I really don't know what to get guys either. So comment down below and let us all know if you have some great ideas but I just find it to be really difficult to gift for men. Some of these things I'm not going to talk to individually just because they explain them themselves, but this video was highly requested when I did my Dollar Tree over 125 stocking stuffer ideas, which really focused more on women and girls because my house is full of girls. So, well, me and my daughter. And, well, Loxie too. So anyway, I saw in the comment section a lot of you really wanted me to showcase some of the ideas that I had for boys, and they actually have so many cute things. I realized that if you're a little boy or you're son or whatever age they are, if they're into Avengers, you could probably do an entire stocking theme of Avengers stuff. I was very surprised to see how many name, not name brand, but just Marvel, DC Comics, so many things, Paw Patrol, Mickey Mouse, there were just, it was crazy, like the Disney characters and all of the things that are available there that are really small that could fit great into a stocking. This glove this illuminating glove that was really cool I don't know what someone would do with that I don't know really how boys play but I thought that was interesting enough to throw in here and I'm really impressed by all of like the Hot Wheels stuff and the little motorcycles when I was younger my brother and I used to play with micro machines thumbs up this video if you remember micro machines if you had some and if you had the carpet for them my brother had the carpet which had like the little town on it I'm sure they still do stuff like that but I don't know if they even sell micro machines anymore comment let me know if you know but I used to love those things it reminds me of home alone because uh, Kevin McAllister had micro machines in the movie anyway uh, yeah so just showing you some Hot Wheels the previous clip was some sticky hand that they could just slap. I'm sure that's probably a parent's worst nightmare. I don't kids run around slapping things against the wall, but it was an idea and I wanted to throw it in here. And yeah, so Matchbox, I think those are probably the newer version of Micro Machines. I was also impressed with all the different style buses and cars and trucks. They even had like a trailer, they had a tractor, they had a food truck. I was just blown away. They seem like really fun. I was definitely a tomboy because I just had an older brother, so I remember playing with some of that stuff when I was younger too, but I also played with Pretty Pretty Princess. Who remembers that game? Uh, anyway, I'm just getting very nostalgic, which by the way is going to come into this video at the end. Uh, but then there's this gemstone excavation. This seems really interesting. If they're into dinosaurs or fossils or anything like that, this is probably something really fun for them to do. Probably keep them entertained for a little bit, showing you the back on how it works or the instructions. And then Play-Doh. Play-Doh's always great. They sell Play-Doh there and they even sell these tools. And I just look at this huge packet of tools. I mean, if they didn't sell stuff like this when I was younger, I used to love playing with Play-Doh, but we had to get really creative on making our own stuff because we didn't really have like all the cutting stools, tools stuff. And then these are just bubbles by Avengers. Like, that's crazy. You could form the A into bubbles, which is crazy. And then just, you know, some guns, some stuff that boys usually play with. I do want to say that my numbering system for this video is kind of off. I think I'm labeling this as 55 plus, but it's probably give or take somewhere in there. I do count every item pretty much individually because they are individual items in different colors and themes. Um, but yeah, so just throwing that out there, my numbering system is probably a little off. They have these awesome, look at these deck of cards. They're jumbo and they're really cool. Wreck-It Ralph, Avengers again. There was like Spider-Man and the Incredibles. These are really cool. They don't even have to use them for like playing cards if they want to use it to, I don't know. I don't know what, what, how kids play these days. I remember when I was younger, we also used to play bank. That's what we called it. And we would use like a tennis ball tube and that would be the tube that would like go up into the bank and we'd put in our deposits and stuff. I don't know, this video is making me think back to all the old, good old days and all the like fun things we used to play. And then there's this WWE, John Cena, am I saying that right? Macho Man, Randy Savage, that sounds familiar. Um, so just 
little figurines. Those are great for stocking stuffers. I feel like those would fit in an average size stocking. This magic show game, really cool. They have all kinds of like magician things. There's a lot of things I obviously didn't film and didn't show. There's cashier stuff and uh, there's just, you guys, it's Dollar Tree. There's just so much stuff. This family feud game I actually bought for myself. I forgot to mention it in my first stocking stuffer video, so I wanted to shout it out here. And then these spider, these, what are these paperweights? I really don't understand, like, what these were, to be honest, but I know it says, like, paperweight or whatever it said, but, uh, they came in four styles that I saw. Spider-Man, the Hulk, Captain America, and Iron Man. And I'm honestly surprised I even know these names. Really? That's what's shocking. Oh, I thought this was kind of funny. This could be like a little gag gift, this little pool table mini game. If your husband or someone you know, brother, sister, uncle, or not sister, but I guess whoever, is asking for a pool table, this would be kind of funny to give them. Like, here you go. Uh, these are awesome. These Mar Marvel collectible label pens. And you just don't know which one you're going to get, which is also really fun. So you could buy like a couple of these and put them in the stocking. And it'll be really exciting for them to open them up and see if they're getting any different ones. This one was already open and sitting on top. So I wanted to show you guys what it kind of looked like. It, it was Captain America. And then these little trucks. These are the ones I don't think I counted individually. I counted these as one. But there's all different colors. They're just monster trucks. And I thought these were really cool. And I love all the color options. So... I mean, a dollar. That's crazy. Okay, so here's the nostalgia I was talking about, these rob robots, and they used to come in like a wrestling mat thing, but these are just finger puppets, so if you know someone who used to play this as a kid, this is probably a really great stocking stuffer idea. Bring back some memories. I love this idea right here. When I saw these cones, I instantly thought of all the people who were probably buying their kids like power wheels. Buying these cones would be great because then you can set up like little lanes and little obstacle courses and they can drive their new power wheel through, you know, all the little, all the little things and keep them really entertained for a while. And then here's some more little figurines. These are more DC comic related, not WWE. Wonder Woman, Joker's in here, Superman's in here, uh, Harley Quinn, which I really love. Joker and Harley Quinn was really cool to see. There's actually Batman, but... I didn't get a snippet of him. He was actually right behind that other Wonder Woman. Okay, these are great too. These are watering color tablets for the bath. They have Mickey Mouse for boys and Paw Patrol. Obviously, you're seeing other girl versions in this clip as well. And then they have these bath bombs. So, don't know how many boys would like see this in their stocking and be super excited, but I have no idea. Because again, I'd, I've never raised a boy, so I don't know. But... There you have that. I know I'd love some bath bombs. And then the very, some of the, two, two more things here, and I guess they're more like adult related, but these muscle and joint patch reliefs, these are great, but they could also be like gag gifts if it's just a common like inside joke between you and that person on like making fun of them, you know, having, you know, just little back aches and stuff like that, just jokes or whatever, or if it's not a joke and they need stuff like this. And then this head massager is the very last thing. I feel like this would be great for a guy and... That completes this video. Hope you guys liked my ideas. Thumbs up if you want me to do more, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!